What's up guys? Today is Saturday, February 28th, and I wanted to uh, start off this video by saying uh, welcome back to uh, Channel Cat Chaser. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but he is back, so go check him out. And on um, to the uh, big topic at hand right now, this proposed man on this uh, 556 steel core ammo. Now, this proposed ban couldn't have come at a worse time for me because the day before they put out the official word on the uh, proposed ban, um, I just so happened to uh, go down to one of my local gun stores and uh, start the process in acquiring myself a new pistol. Now, this particular pistol is um, in the uh, 556 caliber, so uh, there's your guys' hint on that one. And uh, with that being said, you know, uh, money for me has been a little bit tight lately, so I just hadn't been able to go out and pick up any ammo, regardless of the caliber on it. So, <clears throat> so uh, yesterday, when I got off work, I had a little bit of extra money, so I just decided to uh, go down and see if I can pick up some 5.56 ammo for myself. And I went to uh, not one, but three of my locals, and to my surprise... Every single one of them was sold out of all the uh, 556 and or uh, 223 ammunition. So that uh, leads me to think that the uh, panic buying in regards to this caliber of ammo has begun. So um, also when I was down there on the uh, third spot yesterday, uh, you know, I didn't want to leave empty-handed or anything. So I seen this uh, one lone box of this uh, PPU 9 millimeter, and I have uh, never actually seen this ammo. Um, on the shelves down there before and I wanted to uh, give it a shot now one thing I did notice that this stuff right here is made in Siberia so I wanted to ask if any of you guys have tried out any of this uh, PPU ammo yeah let me know so I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to check it out and it was at a little bit of a higher price as you guys can see right there, this uh, one loan box came at $14.57, sold yesterday, no 556 or 223. And in uh, true ammo hunter style, you know, if you can't uh, find the ammunition you want, you know what you got to do to get it. So I uh, woke up this morning and uh, went down to uh, one of my uh, stores that I know gets a regular supply of 556 and or 223 ammo in. And uh, when the lady brought it out, you know, this morning, uh, she had uh, three cases of the uh, 223 uh, Tula ammo, and she also had these uh, six lone boxes of this uh, PPU 223 right here. Now, I had the choice between uh, this uh, PPU ammo, which is brass cased, or the uh, Tula ammo, which is steel cased, and I decided to go with the brass cased stuff. Like I stated about the 9mm, I've never actually seen this stuff before, so wanted to give it a shot. Plus, it was the only uh, six boxes of brass that they got in today, so they all went home with me. And, you know, it wasn't a, the best price on those guys, but, you know, it was the only thing that they had. And those things came in at uh, $7.97 a box. Today's date at uh, $7.26. So... Yeah, like I previously stated, I do believe that the uh, panic buying in regards to this uh, 556 and or 223 has begun, even if it's not steel cord, because that was uh, three stores in one shot yesterday and not a single round. So I don't know what's going to happen on this proposed ban, but you know what? I'm going to start stocking up regardless if it's one box or two boxes at a time. But uh, I'm going to get what I need to take care of what i got to take care of. And there's the video, and thanks for watching.